In the last few weeks, the conflict in Ukraine has taken a turn. Russia is now using Iranian-made Shahed drones to hit targets in Ukraine, which includes civilian as well as military assets. Russia's unleasing of successive waves of drones over Ukraine has caused significant damage. Ukraine's energy minister has said Russia has hit at least half of Ukraine's thermal generation capacity and caused billions of dollars of damage in attacks since October 10, though not all stricken power units have stopped working completely. The Ukrainian foreign ministry said on October 17 that in the last week alone, the Russian military has struck through over 100 Iranian kamikaze drones against residential buildings, power stations, sewer treatment plants, bridges, and playgrounds in several Ukrainian cities. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia is extensively using Iranian Shahed drones in Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Shahed-136 drones that Russia's rebranded as Grand 2 are packed with explosives and are pre-programmed to loiter overhead until they nosedive into a target. According to reports, the Delta Wing Shahed is 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet long, 25 meters or 8 feet wide, and weighs approximately 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. It's powered by a 50 horsepower engine with a top speed of 185 kilometers per hour or 114 miles per hour and has a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers or 1,500 miles. It's thought to have a 40 kilogram or 88 pound explosive charge. The drone is fired in multiples from a launch rack in batches of five upwards. Shahed has several characteristics that make it suitable for Russia. One, the Russian Air Force has not been able to suppress the Ukrainian air defense. So, sending bombers and strike aircraft is a risky proposition. Apart from the fact that loss of even a single aircraft is a multi-million dollar setback, it's also to be noted that trained pilots are limited in number. Two, it's well known that Russia is running out of precision long-range weapon stocks also facing issues in producing new ones due to Western sanctions that stop chip export to Russia, which are required in these kind of weapons. Ukraine's defense minister recently alleged that Russia has used up most of its high-precision missile arsenal. Its stock is down from 1,844 on the eve of Russia's invasion to 609 by mid-October. 3. Shahed's cheap, only $20,000 apiece. It's only a tiny fraction of the cost of a more conventional, full-size missile. For example, caliber cruise missiles that have seen widespread use cost about a million dollars each. 4. Shahed is tiny. Radar and IR signature is small, making it hard to detect, and when used in large numbers, like a swarm, some of these will surely go through and create havoc. This is similar to Japan's World War II-era kamikaze pilots who would fly their explosive-laden aircraft into U.S. warships and aircraft carriers during the war in the Pacific. 5. This conflict has turned into a war of attrition, and if Ukraine is having to deploy costly missiles to intercept those cheap drones, then it's essentially a win for Russia. 6. Because of the portability of the launch frame and drone assembly, the entire unit can be mounted on the back of any military or commercial truck enabling mobile shoot and scoot operations that can thwart countermeasures. 7. The continuous buzzing of the propeller-driven Shahed drones, dubbed mopeds by Ukrainians, induces anxiety and has psychological impact. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky noted the terror element, pointing on social media, The whole night and the whole morning, the enemy terrorizes the civilian population. Terror weapons are, of course, nothing new. Nazi Germany employed them during World War II in the form of the V-1 flying bomb or buzz bomb. With Shahed, 
Russia would hope to degrade Ukrainian morale. Ukrainian drone supplies are having an impact, and this has made the West do something about it. The United States agrees with Britain and French assessments that Iran supplying drones to Russia would violate a UN Security Council resolution that endorsed the 2015 nuclear deal between Iran and six powers, U.S. State Department spokesman Vedant Patel said. The European Union has agreed to hit Iran with sanctions over its supplying drones to Russia in the war with Ukraine, a top EU body said on Thursday. The decision came in record time. After three days of EU discussion, according to a pair of tweets from the Czech presidency of the EU Council, three individuals and one entity responsible for drone deliveries will have their assets frozen. Another four Iranian entities could also receive EU sanctions. Russia has not officially admitted to using drones manufactured in Iran in its invasion of Ukraine, but their use has been documented in numerous attacks this fall. Iran has many UAVs, ranging from small, light, short-range systems to medium to heavy for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, usage. Iranian armed forces are known to operate more armed drones than many other nations that have twice their defense budget, and that too under crippling Western sanctions. There are reports that Iranian personnel are assisting Russians on how to effectively deploy this drone. Some reports also indicate Iran may provide Russia with surface-to-surface -surface missiles. This is not a good situation for Ukraine as winter knocks on the doors. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.